This is gonna be the best day in Destiny Raid history right here. Let's get it boys, let's get it. Dude, I'm getting pooped. Somebody killed the thrall. Oh, what the? Oh, no. Dude. Ouch. No. This is like quantum physics. <laughs> oh, my God. I can't see. There's a cat butt in my face. Bye, 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 bye. Res me, res me, res me, res me. Calma, calma. Come on, boys. Come on, boys. Bye, 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 bye. Do, 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 do. Yeah. YouTube, it's your boy Hiatus James. The Throne King is back, man. Um, so I wanted to do this uh, first impression of Day One Raid, man, and kind of give you guys some of my experience uh, with my team in Destiny 2. Um, it, it was a good time, man. It, it was crazy. Um, a lot that happened during that time, man. You don't realize that 24 hours is a long time. And it seems shorter in game time until your body shuts down. You feel me? Um, so, as you've seen in the trailer, big hype leading up to um, Deep Stone Crypt um, raid. I just want to take my hats off to D2, man. Like, yo, you guys rock this one. This raid, by far, was one of the most fun, um, visually stimulating uh, rates that you guys have put together. Like I got to give you credit where credit is due. Um, but yeah, man, let's talk about the, uh, day one raid. So me and my raid team, um, we collab probably got together about 10 30, 11 o'clock countdown. Everybody's hyped 12 o'clock hits. We jump in. Um, and, and it's a go, man. We're hyped at the scenery. We jump in. Um, first stage is, um, the Sparrow. So everybody's out, you know, we're trying to figure out paths. Um, got your boy Veteran Guardian trying to figure it out. Got JJ Living Proof out there. Got CB the Goat. Um, got Geek, man. All of us are, Skirt, all of us are out there, man. We're trying to figure it out. So, um, they're blazing through it. Now, these guys are really good on Sparrow. Me not so much. As as the name goes, the throw king, man. I'm there I'm not good at sparrowing. They know this. So um what ends up happening in the first encounter is um they make it to the end. Hiatus is nowhere to be found. Hiatus is is at dome two, thermal two. What? What the fuck? Um and so now day one raid. We literally have to set out a search and rescue for me because you can't continue in the raid until all parties have made it through this part. So now I got to, they're transmatting before me and, you know, one trying to lead me to where I need to go. Man, it was crazy. It was absolutely crazy. Now, again, I preface this. This is my first ever day one raid. So this is the first time of me ever doing this um, on this scale, on this stage. Um, so that the pressure was on, on top of the fact that I suck, I suck at Sparrow Racing. So we finally get through that encounter. Um, we're taking in the scenery, taking in the scenery. Um, so, uh, the next encounter after the Sparrow Racing um, is the first is the actual first encounter, uh, which is a security. So um, this one wasn't too bad, man. But we did kind of realize, you know, contest modifier. It wasn't too crazy. It it didn't remind me of um, when you go into like a grandmaster and just get smacked around. It wasn't on that level, but it definitely they definitely were tanky and they definitely could smack you up. Like if you got caught in a bad situation, it was a GG. Good night. Um, so. We hopped into it, figuring it out, figuring it out. Um, and so we finally got the game plan down, finally got it uh, to work. This was after um, 
me and living going down low and realizing that two people can't be in there at the same time and dying like we went through a whole mirage of thing or myriads of, of thoughts on how to get this to work and we finally figured out no help we figured it out and um so now you know we're getting into the damage phase getting that down um so we were good then we ran into the graveyard zone which was the second encounter two thousand years later now the second encounter now and the second encounter in contest modifier was completely different bro like it was completely different like you could shoot shanks now with a hand cannon and you're good contest modifier you could shoot them with a sniper you could shoot them with Jotun, my go-to and it they would eat it they would eat it bro like literally like it it wasn't nothing so um you had the tanky shanks that were shooting you um you know you got to take down the servitors there's the mechanics so we're figuring out the mechanics and bro we spent 14 hours let me say that again 14 hours banging our head against this encounter it wasn't so much that we couldn't get the encounter down um or how to to do the encounter it was more so that we died every possible way that you could possibly die in this encounter like we know this encounter blindfolded that's how much time we spent into the encounter um so what ended up happening is um somewhere around the 14 hour mark um for you guys that don't know um me myself i I'm, i take um anti uh what is it antidepressants uh for anxiety and like panic attacks and stuff like that so any of you that are out there that know about those type of medicines they really like when they hit they make you sleepy bro it it, it is night night so now the sleep is hitting me bro like it's hitting me heavy like i could barely keep my eyes open and so you know i don't want to be that guy that calls it because like like yo i really wanted to get through this it was my first time ever doing this and it's like yo i'm pumped let's get it let's go let's hit it but my body was like yo get him out of here <laughs> get him out of here find the closest mat pillow and get him out of here so um what ended up happening is you know we attempted a couple times and i was like yo look I'm physically at a point to where I can't, I can't go. Like I, I feel like I can't go. And of course, you know, you, you, you we all friends. We've, we've had the hype. Um, we had CB doing, um, doing wrestling impression impressions, trying to get us hyped up. You know, we got, we're joking, we're laughing. 14 hours in, man, crazy. Cause by this time, most. Um, you know teams fire teams kind of break down and people start blaming but we're having fun but the sleep is getting so i'm like yo i got one trick i got one trick up my sleeve so i go and i'm like yo give me 15 minutes i go and i'm i am the one the way your son don't need to make me some coffee now the thing with me and coffee i can take coffee and it'll have me up but you, it's a one-shot deal. Like once it gets me up and once it wears off, it's a wrap. So, took the co the coffee. I'm back. I'm back in the game. I'm focused. So uh, we go back in. Now everybody's pumped. Everybody's ready. We're focused. We knock it out. After 14 hours, we put the second encounter to rest, and we're good. We go into the third encounter. Well, actually, you go to the outside, the space area, um, taking in the, the space, you know, looking at everything. Like I said, hats off to uh, to Bungie. Yo, this raid is amazing. It's beautiful. Um, so we get into the third encounter. We get into the third encounter. It is a breeze. It's like, what were we doing with our whole life? Like, we get through the third encounter like butter. Um, so... Once we get through the third encounter, we finally get to the boss. Now, once we get to the boss, it is now about like nine o'clock in the morning next day. Um, and like I told you, the coffee is a one shot deal. So we get to the final boss encounter 
and the coffee's wearing off at this point. Um, we got the mechanics down. We're figuring everything out, man. And, um, and we're just kind of going through a phase where we'll get the, the mechanics down. We'll get to one damage phase and then we'll either wipe or we'll all die. And at this point, you know, it is going, it's going left. Like we're consistently doing the same thing over and over and over and over. Um, so, uh, living hops out, drops on a different character. Like we're trying everything to, to get this done because we want it to complete it. Here's where things go left. Here's where things go left. So I am playing the game, bro. No lie. Eyes closed. Pushing the control button up in the corner, I wake up and my guy is literally just walking in place against the wall. I'm like, bro, I am no help to y'all. I can't help you doing DPS. I can't help you on call outs. Like, my eyes are shut right now. No, God, please, no, no, no. Um, so, unfortunately, you know, we didn't complete it. But I will say, man, it was probably one of the greatest experiences that I've ever had. I've never done a day one raid, never really had a clan or a group uh, to really raid with. So this was absolutely dope for me. And I just kind of wanted to share my experience. Now, everybody else's experience was different. There were some who do this all the time. They flew through it like it was nothing, um, turned around and helped some other people to get their day one clears and salute to them, man dope that you were able to get through it and uh finish it man i just feel like you know if we hadn't spent 14 hours in that one encounter we definitely had a, a great shot to pull it out but um it didn't work out and of course once the day one was over we came back no contest modifier knocked it out because we had been in there man we knew this like the back of our hands at this point because we had been in this raid for so long um but i just wanted to to hop on you know youtube and just kind of explain my day one experience man um i'm definitely looking to do more uh day one raids man just for the camaraderie um and just kind of hanging out with your friends and just gaming bro like i've never done anything of this magnitude and it was a dope experience for me now every like i said everybody's experience was different but mine it was dope it was full of laughter uh, full of jokes, full of full of um, rare moments, fail moments, throws. Um, now, the only thing that I do kind of regret in retrospect is that I didn't scream it. Um, but knowing me and knowing how I throw, having eyes on me probably was not the best thing at that time. Because literally, you guys would have seen me sleep. And, then, and in the chat box, they would have been like, yo, hiatus sleep. <laughs> they would have switched over. They would have hit up JJ, they would have hit up CB Gray and been like, yo, your boy sleep. <laughs> um, but yeah, man, it was absolute dope, uh, absolutely dope for me, man, and just going through that experience. So wanted to just share that with you guys, um, you know, on the channel. This uh, channel that I'm building is all about the experiences. So there'll be screams that I'll do on here uh, for D2, uh, as well as other games that I may uh, be into. Um, we'll also be doing like story time. So it's going to be a wide range of various things on this channel um, because this channel is all about Hiatus James, man, really embracing um, myself and um, who I am. Um, so I just wanted to share that experience, man, because I was so elated and like I, it was dope, man. Like I've never in my life done anything like that. And uh, just to have that experience was absolutely crazy. So um, definitely salute to uh, the fire team and my bros, man, for including me in that day one. I apologize that we couldn't pull it through, but definitely had fun nonetheless, man. And you guys um, that have done the day one that either cleared it or had, share some of your experience down in the comments, man. I'd love to chop it up with you guys. Um, love you, Destiny community, um, as always. And you can always catch me on Twitch, Hiatus James. Um, definitely always screaming on there, um, doing raid helps and things of that nature now that we know it like the back of our hands. Um, but anyways, guys, that was my experience, my day one experience. Wanted to share that with you guys. And uh, hopefully you enjoyed this little sit down conversation about day one. 
Um, and hopefully you had some of the same or similar experiences that we went through on day one. Some good, some bad, some indifferent, but an experience nonetheless, man. But anyways, guys, we're going to keep this moving, man. Make sure you stay locked to this channel. Um, more on the way, more vids on the way, more story times. Definitely, definitely make sure that you subscribe. If you're not subscribed, make sure you hit that like. Um, make sure you hit that bell notification so that you'll always know what videos are coming up next. And uh, yeah, man, I will catch you guys later. And as always, stay shady out there.